Welcome to Land a House, I'm Seth. When you're working with the hydraulic ram pump, it's important to know how high you're lifting water to. And that's because you have a certain amount of input head pressure in your creek, and that input head pressure has a limited height that it can lift water up to. In this video, I want to show you three different methods for finding the height from the creek where the ram pump is to the top of the hill where you want to store or use your water. The first one is the easiest and least accurate, and that is just simply to use Google Earth to find the elevation difference between the low point and the high point. To do that, you just load up Google Earth and you find the hill that you want to lift water up to. You will hover your cursor over the low point where the creek is and get the elevation in the lower right hand corner. Then you move your cursor up to the top of the hill and once again find the elevation on the lower right hand corner. Now the numbers change pretty quick on Google Earth as you move your cursor around, but I picked the two points I felt like represented where I was testing at. So the lower number was 2,670 feet and the upper number was 2,700 feet, which is 30 feet in elevation change. So let's go ahead and see what the other two methods provide. Method number two is a lot more accurate. It also requires a couple of tools protractor, string, a weight, a straw, and a tape measure. So in this method, I'm going to measure out the hypotenuse, which is where I'm standing here, to wherever I'm gonna put water at the top. And then you look through the straw, and the string with weight will hang down, and you'll just hold a finger over that, and you'll get the measurement or the degree that that slope is at. And with that, you can use the sine function to find the opposite or the height of our triangle here. So let's walk through this and we'll be able to compare this to what Google Earth shows. The math on this one is a lot easier than you may think, so check this out. So your ram pump is right here and your storage tanks are up here. And it's simple, sine theta opposite over hypotenuse. And we're gonna go ahead and measure out from right here where we're standing up to the top and we'll have our value for hypotenuse. And then we'll have to uh, find the angle with our protractor. So let's do the walking right here to find what this distance is. From where we were standing before to this rock here is 157 feet. So. This rock has no importance, it's just a place I picked here on the hill. So our hypotenuse is 157 feet. Now there's some math you can do to adjust the height that you're standing at. Let's not go crazy. Let's just uh, get a very basic number here, pretty close to the ground. If we are off by a foot, I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm just going to look through my straw here on the top of my projector and I'm going to find where that uh, rock is at the top that we measured up to. And I'm going to hold that string. Looks like we are at uh, about seven, seven or eight degrees here for this hill. So let's just go with seven and uh, see what we're up to here. So basically all I did was tape a straw to the top of this projector and I tied a string with some washers on it. And so as I look through the straw and find where my rock is, it will adjust to where the string hangs down. And that is where you would hold that. And then uh, that's the angle you're gonna use for your sine function. Now, if you can't see your end point, you may have to come back down some and get that elevation change, go up there and then do another one. So you can do this in stages until you have your final point. So let's say you're going through the woods and you, uh, you go over two hills or something. You can just do what you can see and go to the top of that hill and then do the next one. And uh, it can be a little inaccurate whenever you have uh, to measure down a hill and back up. Um, so just keep that in mind. So it's pretty simple here. We've got 157 sine seven equals the opposite. So let's find that real quick. Just got my calculator here. Let's do sine of seven is 0.1218693, etc. And I can just say times 157. So we got somewhere around 
uh, 19 feet. So, and if it was seven and a half, you're looking at maybe 21 feet or so. The third method that I wanna talk about in this video is to use a line level with some string and also a tape measure. The concept here is that you walk up to the top where you want to store your water, you tie off your line, and then you walk out a certain distance with the line level on the string and when you find a level point it'll be hopefully about head high at this position then you measure down with your tape measure and you write that value down and then you move the original tie off point to where you're standing in the second position and you just uh, repeat the steps until you have several numbers as you come down the hill until you get back down to the ram pump so let's go ahead and do this real quick and see how accurate this is I'm gonna take the string and just wrap it around this rock a couple of times. Take the line level, place it on the string, and then you want to just hold that up pretty tight until you find right where it's level at, which for me is right there. Then you take your tape measure and you drop down keeping in mind where that uh, rock is that was here earlier. All right, there's 57 inches right there on our first measurement. 53 inches on that one. On this test, the values I had were 57 inches plus 53 inches plus 63 inches plus 73 inches, which was 246 divided by 12 for feet is 20 and a half very cool so in conclusion Google Earth is definitely a valid option for getting a basic idea of the elevation change I recommend people use Google Earth if they are considering a ram pump and just want to get a general idea of whether or not the head pressure they have and the lift they have will work together so 30 feet is what we had on Google Earth so for the second test with the uh, protractor or uh, clinometer Phenomenon. With the uh, protractor and the straw and the string, uh, we found a value of 19.1 feet. So the problem we have with that is that the string still sways a little bit. And also when you're looking through the straw, you can't pinpoint exactly what you're looking at. There's always just a little change in that. Uh, maybe a longer straw would help. Um, but that value came out to be 19.1 feet for this change in elevation. And then lastly, with our line level and string, we had a 20.5 or a 20 and a half feet. So you can see that the Google Earth value was probably off somewhere between five to 10 feet, which is about one foot of input head pressure change. Uh, so definitely worth taking the time to do one of these other methods. Now there is a, another method that some people will use, and that is to use a low PSI pressure gauge, and you fill a tube with water, and then read the pressure gauge at the bottom, and you can do your math. Um, there's uh, 0.433 PSI for every one foot of drop. Um, so you can calculate the uh, total drop you have, but that means you have to have a, a hose and fill it with water on your hill. So it can sometimes be a bit of a tr uh, an issue when you are going four, five, 600 feet up a hill. Uh, so in this case, at 157 feet, it wouldn't have been too bad to fill a tube with water, but these other methods are certainly sufficient. Anyway, I hope this helps you to determine your lift height out of a ram pump so that you can either build your own or purchase one from landahouse.com. I'm Seth with Land a House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.